Today, we're diving into a topic that's been on the minds of many severe tropical storm Trami and the devastating impact it's had on the Baikal region of the Philippines. Trami struck the Philippines with a force that many were unprepared for. Just a few days ago, residents were going about their daily lives, not knowing that this storm would change everything in a matter of hours. The heavy rains, coupled with strong winds, led to widespread flooding that has left many communities on high alert. Residents have shared harrowing stories. One man I spoke with described waking up to water levels rising in his home and barely having enough time to gather his family and evacuate. Stories like his are not isolated. This storm has affected thousands. The aftermath has been devastating, at least 150 lives lost, families shattered, and countless homes destroyed. It's a stark reminder of how vulnerable we are to nature's fury. But there's also a light in this darkness. Rescue operations are underway. Across the region, rescue teams are working tirelessly. You've got local volunteers, military personnel, and organizations coming together to reach those stranded. The bravery and selflessness of these responders are truly commendable. They are the unsung... Tropical Storm Trami, which struck the Philippines from October 22 to October 24, 2024, caused significant devastation 1. Here are the latest updates. Death toll. The storm has resulted in 150 confirmed deaths, with 39 people still missing. Evacuees. Approximately 1 million people are currently sheltering in evacuation centers or with relatives after being displaced by the floodwaters. Damage costs. The estimated damage is around 1.54 billion pesos, approximately USD 26.35 million for infrastructure, and 2.5 billion pesos USD 43 million for agriculture. Affected areas. Trami affected over 6.7 million people across 17 regions, with severe impacts particularly felt in the Baikal and Calabarzon regions, as well as parts of central and southern Philippines. The country is now preparing for another tropical storm, Kong Ray, which is expected to bring more heavy rain and severe wind. Yes, the Philippine government has taken several steps to ease the situation for those affected by tropical storm Trami. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr has been actively involved in the response efforts, inspecting damage and coordinating rescue operations too. The government has also declared a state of calamity in several regions, including Albay, Catanduans, and Camarines Sur. Schools and government offices were closed to ensure safety, and inter-island ferry services were suspended. In terms of international aid, four ASEAN nations, Singapore, Brunei, Malaysia, and Indonesia, have extended assistance. The Singaporean Armed Forces deployed a C-130 transport aircraft to deliver humanitarian aid supplies. Additionally, Pope Francis offered prayers for the victims, and Caritas Philippines, the humanitarian arm of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, has appealed for donations to support relief efforts. He Philippine Red Cross, Caritas Philippines, or even global organizations like the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies IFRC, are all reliable options. Many of these organizations have easy-to-use online donation systems. Even mentioning these names might inspire someone to give. And if you feel moved to give, here are some organizations making a difference. Right? It can be subtle yet impactful. One way to address this is by give to well-known international organizations with stringent accountability measures like the International Red Cross or UNICEF. They often have more robust mechanisms for ensuring funds are used appropriately. Another approach is to highlight local grassroots organizations or community groups where you know the leaders personally. Smaller organizations may have a better track record in some cases since they operate directly in the affected areas with less bureaucracy. In the face of adversity, the strength of our spirit shines brightest. The storm may have taken much, but it cannot take away our ability to rebuild, to come together, and to find hope in each other. Each small act of kindness, each gesture of support, brings us one step closer to recovery. Let's stand united, because together, we are stronger than any storm. Together, we can help those in need and learn from these challenges. Thank you for watching, and let's keep Baikal in our thoughts. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed.